Josh, how are you doing today, my man? I'm good. How are you? How's everybody? Doing fantastic, my man. Doing absolutely fantastic. Uh, JB is saying that I am popping right now, but you know what? I'm going to keep it going because my sound sounds really good on my side. I don't know about on you guys' side, but if you guys uh, hear that I'm popping, leave me a little bit more into the uh, chat. But um, Josh, go ahead and introduce yourself to the audience that do not know who you are. Give us a little bit of your background and so forth. Um, go ahead, Josh. Introduce yourself, sir. Sure, sure. Uh, so my name is Josh Matacor. Uh, I'm currently 38 years old. Um, I, I've been in tech and IT pretty much since probably 2007. Um, I kind of avoided it for a long time because I, I liked computers for like playing games and that type of stuff. But um, I got like really tired of being poor, and I wanted to buy like a you know a Subaru WRX. Um, like back in the day when I was like really young and I was like, oh, I can't buy this with my mom's money because like she doesn't have any money. So I just decided to like get into IT and, you know, try to make the best of myself and, you know, make, you know, enough money to buy my car, which turned into, you know, much more in the future. But that's kind of like how I got into IT. I just wanted to like not be poor anymore. Wow. Wow. So it was really about money for you. And why? <laughs> why did you decide that? You know, IT was the course to go. Why did you decide that IT was the course to go, Josh? Uh, because I I knew that you could at least you know make a more than average money in it, and I was kind of already into computers. Like I would build computers like for the sole purpose of playing games. So it it kind of was like the path of least resistance for me. So that's kind of why I, I got into it. Mm, mm, I love it. I love it. So you you know you grew up not a lot of money. Um, I grew up with not a lot of money as well. And the reason why I chose to enter the tech space is because, you know, one of the things that I was told early on, Josh, was in order for you to be successful in life, you had to be a doctor, lawyer, or engineer, right? So, you know, I'm thinking, all right, well, I like computers too because, you know, I had my PlayStation, Sega Genesis. I wanted to be one of those guys that play video games and stuff like that as well or either work on them. Long story short, I went to school for, you know, initially for computer science. Then I got to management information systems, which is ITM. And then, um, you know, went into uh, my first role as a software engineer. Talk about, you know, how you broke into the space, Josh, right? Because I know from your channel, you, uh, you are a big fan of one of the best schools that exist out there, WGU. Oh, yeah. but talk about how... Yeah. You broke into the tech space and what education that you leveraged to break into the tech space, sir? Sure. Um, so I I started going to a community college in 2007. And I actually originally um, started going for computer science. And I was just in the computer lab one day, like, you know, working on my, my visual basic or my code or whatever. And then I, I would see people like kind of walking in the lab and like helping other students with like kind of general computer problems. And I was like, oh, that seems so easy and it's convenient inside the school and I could probably do that. So I, I just like went and talked to the, I guess the computer lab, like the IT department in the community college and they couldn't hire me right away, but I kind of kept in contact with them and they, they just hired me um, eventually as like a super part-time computer lab assistant. I think I was making like $10 and 50 cents an hour or something. And I, I kind of just worked in that job and it was like a really like tier, like 0 0.5 help desk. Um, but I kind of got better because I was studying like computer science and IT stuff. And then I just kind of did my best and paid attention around me to stuff that needed to be improved, like, you know, reduce paper waste and like auto try to automate stuff. And so I just tried to help out a lot with that. Um, and then eventually after two years of like trying really hard, I, I got hired um, full time in that IT department. I think I was making like like twenty five dollars an hour or something. That was my first real IT job in two thousand nine. So that's wow, how I got in. Wow, wow, wow. So you started off in the help desk where a lot of people start off. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. Wow, wow. And then and then talk about the education piece of it, Josh. Like what what was your your formal level of education and what degree did you actually graduate with and and why did you choose it? Sure. So I actually got hired um, before I even finished my two-year degree. So um, 
I was making, you know, about 50K. And then I, I finally finished my two-year degree in like 2011. It, I, I switched from computer science into like, like just a normal IT degree, like a two-year associates. And then, you know, fast forward like another couple of years in 2013, I, I discovered WGU probably in like 2010 and I kind of prepared for it. And I decided to get like their general IT, like their general bachelor's in IT, um, just for the sake of trying to join the Navy as an officer. That was like my kind of goal back then. Um, I I wouldn't have gotten a bachelor's degree if WGU didn't exist because like I don't really like um, pr like prolonging processes for like, you know, being forced to take like a whole quarter to finish a class and then paying like too much for college so when wgu came around i was like oh this is like so nice it's like relatively cheap and i can go like as fast as i want so um i got a a normal it bachelor's degree from them and i i kind of just sat on that and had that for seven years or something and then i was like oh i want to get a master's degree like eventually just just to have it you know um because wgu had like a, a decent one in cybersecurity. um so i, I ended up getting that in probably 2020 um, and then, and by the way, like, I don't want to like, I, I have like kind of a lot of education. I don't want people to think like, oh, you need like <laughs> three degrees to get into IT, but I, I'm just kind of weird and I'm kind of a loner and I, I study like a lot and I, I just happen to get a bunch of degrees. So like after the, um, the master's in cyber in 2020, I was like, man, I want to do this PhD program at this Dakota State University and that requires like an actual comp sci degree. So I went and got a comp sci degree in like 2021, I think. Wow. Um, I had like so many cre credits already. Right. Uh, it was kind of easy for me to just like bang out the rest of the classes. Um, so that's kind of, I like pivoted like a bunch of times, like from IT to like cybersecurity and then to computer science. But it's just because I'm, I'm weird. It's not like it's required to have all of those for our, our field or anything like that. But Yeah. Well, I mean, like that's just, you know what it sounds like though, Josh, it sounds more of like you are a avid learner. You're a student, right? You're always looking to learn something. You're always looking to grow and, you know, talk about this, right? Cause you went from computer science to it, right? And you know, you got an associates or whatever it was and, and you graduated from WGU with an IT degree. Then you went back and completed your computer science degree. Like, what was in your mind going through that time, right? Was it just the fact that you just didn't know what career path you wanted to take? Was it the fact that, you know, you were just looking to continue to stack skills and get into the, the coding side of things? Like, what was your, your thought process behind that? Because I have a lot of students that are on this channel or watch this channel, and they are going to get their degrees now maybe management information <laughs> systems. I recommended WGU for a long time uh, with their information technology management degree, which is the management information mm -hmm. systems degree, right? Um, yeah, it's good. It, it's a great, it's a great degree. And, 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 and you were one of the ones that actually put me onto that uh, because of the research you've done and you having the ability to accelerate you going through WGU to get a degree in, I'm mean, like five or six months or something along those lines. I remember the video that you put out, but talk about like your, why you, you have so many degrees outside of being a avid learner. Was there something in your career that you was like, okay, well I need to stack that skill or I want to make a pivot to this other field in tech. Talk about that aspect of it. Yeah. Um, I'm this is very strange. I just want to preface, preface what I'm going to say with that. <laughs> um, so like, I'll, I'll kind of like individually talk about why I got the different degrees. Like the, the very first bachelor's degree I got, cause I wanted to like join the Navy as like an officer and I need, I need a degree. And the, the second, like the cybersecurity masters and then the comp sci degree I got because I wanted to do this cyber operations PhD program at Dakota state. And I, I need to have like both of those to even apply to that. Um, so that's kind of why I got those. And then uh, another reason why I got the computer science degree is I, up until that point, I had like a, a decent amount of like, you know, vanilla IT experience and then cybersecurity experience. And I, I just wanted to kind of round it out with getting some kind of software development, like software engineer experience. And I was watching like other people on YouTube, like um, Sandra 
and Clement and, you know, all those other cool kids who are doing software engineering. And I, I was having FOMO. So I just <laughs> wanted to like get the comp side degree and, and just work a little bit. Um, so I, I, I was able to do it. And I just worked a year as a contractor at Microsoft doing, um, you know, primarily coding and development things. Um, so I, I think that like kind of helped me um, like when I get more experience for stuff, I can kind of disseminate it out to the people around me and like help my channel be better. Mm. So that was like kind of part of it as well. And I, I just, you know, do a lot of strange stuff like that. So. No, I, I, you think it's strange, Josh, but actually there's, there's a benefit from it, right? Because what you're basically doing is you're educating yourself so that you can educate others, right? You are that type of person. It yeah. sounds like that you, you like to put yourself in positions to learn stuff so that you can get the experience to be able to talk about it. Right. And that's uh, yeah, why I think yeah. you're, I, I, I know your channel was so strong because you have a well-rounded background. And not only that, you have a well-rounded foundation. I mean, you have a computer science degree, you have an IT degree, you've done a number of things. Um, you know, it, it, it definitely <laughs> shows, right. You can talk about it. You can, uh, uh, uh pick things apart. You can, uh, create ways of, of of you know new ways of helping people which you've ultimately done uh with us yeah, right in our partnership help. and stuff yeah, yeah, like yeah. that right so yeah. it's it's it, i don't think it's strange at all you think it's strange but i think it's absolutely genius right and um <laughs> you know i i i look at it this way if if we're all students of education and always looking to learn and grow you know the most uh, uh important thing that we can do is to continue to educate ourselves, continue to build our skills, but also to share that information. That information that we're able to share is super, super valuable. And it comes back into a form that a lot of times many of us just don't know what that form is, right? It could be, you know, the fact that we're able to build a YouTube channel. It could be the fact that we're able to build a course and it can, it's, it's a lot of money. It's worth a lot. It's worth a lot of value. 